On my Sunday night live stream, there are often questions asked in the chat that I don't answer. Now this is not because I'm trying to dodge these questions, or I don't want to admit that I don't know the answer, or that I don't like the person who's asking the question and I've decided to dingy them. <laughs> it's simply because I waffle on so much that before I've even had a chance to look at the chat, the comments are flown past and are now not even on my screen. I never even saw them to answer in the first place. Now some people get a wee bit annoyed with me because they ask the same question a number of times. Sometimes, a huge number of times, and you know who I'm talking about, are you. So, in order to calm those of you who end up wanting to climb through the screen to slap me, I'll be publishing a short video a few days after each live stream to answer those questions. There might also be a few comments that I missed that aren't necessarily questions, and I've thought these are interesting enough to respond to. And there might be questions or comments that I did answer during the live stream, but I've changed my mind, I've changed my opinion on the answer I gave, or I maybe want to make an additional comment. So the first comment comes from Caroline Tyler RC, who wants to know who stuck up the paper doilies on my wall. Caroline, I misread your comment on Sunday night and I thought you said paper dollies. <laughs> well, anyway, this, as I'm sure you know, it's just a wee bit of acoustic foam. It's just to stop too much reverb. So funny ha-ha to you and your doilies. Caroline goes on to comment again that there's a weird flashing on the diamond, but the diamond behind my head. I I didn't notice that at the time, Caroline, but I think I fixed it. We'll see on this video. It looks to me as if it's fixed. Derek Pask says that you need good editing programs with wide-angle lenses, and that he never really worked it out properly. Derek, I'd say that you need a good editing program regardless of wide-angle lenses. I use Final Cut, and it suits me fine. Gingerbread Jack says that he loves my video from the other day about winding up the auditors. I see it more as showing them up for what they really are, Jack. The couple of videos I've created in the subject have been quite popular, so I'll make a few more. But it probably won't be for too long, as I think the auditing boom is almost over. Jim Thorley asks if I sold some of my music gear so I could buy a Mavic 3. No yet, Jim. A retired musician finds it almost impossible to part with gear and I haven't been able to bring myself to advertise any of it yet. I've got a load of top of the gear range <laughs> I've got a load of top of the range gear just sitting here gathering dust, but well, it's hard to accept that my gigging days are over. It's moving swiftly on. New Turk One asks if it's possible to use the same RC controller for two Mini 2 drones. You can't use the RC controller, that's the RM330, the one with the screen, with the Mini 2, but you can use the RCN1, that's the one where you would put a phone or a device onto, and you can use that with more than one drone, because I use that controller with my Mini 2 and my Mini 3, so I can't see any reason why you wouldn't be able to use it on two Mini 2s, as long as they're on the same DJI account. The only other thing you need to do is on each time that you swap from one Mini 2 to another, you'll need to re-download a small piece of firmware. It only takes a few seconds, but you need to be connected to the internet to do this. If you're out in the field, make sure you can connect to the internet via hotspot or a close by Wi-Fi. RS Mickey Moo Productions. You'll need to let us know why you came up with that handle. RS Mickey Moo Productions asks if Freewell manufactures the DJI filters. I'm not sure about that, but in the wee bit of research I did, it seems that Freewell have their filters manufactured in Kowloon City, Hong Kong, and DJI have manufacturing bases in China, USA, India, Switzerland, and Japan. I'm sure if you contacted DJI, they'd be able to give you a more definitive answer. Scott Bishop noticed I was sipping on a certain brand of beer on Sunday night, and he obviously has an interest in US politics. Although I do have a passing interest in the politics of the USA, Scott, I was just drinking that particular brand because it's lower in carbs than normal beers and I need to lose a bit of weight. If I'm honest, I would have preferred Coors Light, but the local co-op didn't have any in stock, so I just got the brand you saw me drinking on Sunday night. Tanya Gale got a new drawing! Tanya, I missed what drone you got, so leave a comment here to let me know, please. And if you have a link to any footage, leave that link in the comments. Or if YouTube will no, not allow you to leave a link, email your link to me and I'll put it in the comments for you. 
The final comment for today is for Tony, who encourages me to keep up the good work outing fraudsters. Don't worry, Tony, I'm on it. If you want to see a video created featuring the Fidalgo of Frauditors, DJ Audits, that video can be seen here from this Friday. Or if you're a member of the channel, you can click in the member section and watch it ad-free right now. I'll see you on Sunday.